What's going on, everybody? It's Bobby Spang of The Four Sportsmen, and today we have a very special video for you guys. The top 10 big games from No Names. I did this with a little help from a boy, A. Scott, pictured right here. So you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy. Number 10, Omri Caspi. Drafted 23rd overall to the Sacramento Kings in 2009, Posting a career average of 8.2 points a game. Omri played for six different teams in his career, including Sacramento, New Orleans, Houston, Cleveland, and Minnesota. On December 28, 2015, in his second stint with Sacramento, he scored a career-high 36 points against the Golden State Warriors. Also tying the record with nine threes in a game. Why is this game so impressive? He had a three-point shootout with then reigning MVP and three-point king, Stephen Curry. Number nine, Larry Brown. Picked in the 12th round of the NFL draft at pick number 320 in 1991, Larry Brown won Super Bowl 30 MVP for having two interceptions in a 27-17 win over the Pittsburgh Steelers. After that season in 1996, Brown turned this game into a five-year, $12.5 million deal with the Oakland Raiders, where he only played 12 games in two years for the team. A pretty uh, lucky chance MVP benefited from having Deion Sanders there, often the forgotten member of the Dallas defense in the 1990s. Number eight, Danielle Marshall. Drafted fourth overall in 1994 by the Timberwolves, Danielle played for the Timberwolves, Golden State, Utah, Chicago, Toronto, Cleveland, Seattle, and Philadelphia in his 15-year career, posting career numbers of 11.2 points per game, 6.7 rebounds per game, and a three-point field goal percentage of 35%. On March 13th, 2005, while playing for Toronto, he made 12 of 19 threes, tying the record for threes in a game, and also set the record for three-point shots attempted. Number 7, Phil Umber. Drafted third overall in 2004 by the Mets, he played for the Tw Mets, Twins, Royals, White Sox, Astros in a seven-year Major League Baseball career. On April 21st, 2012, he pitched the 21st perfect game in MLB history, including nine strikeouts. On November 30th in 2012, he was claimed off of waivers by the Astros, but lost his rotation spot after posting an 0-7 record with an ERA of 8.82. This would be the last year he pitched in the majors. In 2014, he signed with the Kia Tigers of the Korean Baseball Organization and retired in 2016 after not being called up to the San Diego Padres Major League roster. Number six, Matt Flynn. Drafted in the seventh round, picked 209 in 2008 by Green Bay. Matt Flynn has played for Green Bay, the Seahawks, Oakland Raiders, Bills, Patriots, Jets, and Saints in an eight-year career. On January 1st, 2012, against the Detroit Lions, Flynn threw for 480 yards with six touchdowns in a 45-41 victory. This game earned him a contract with Seattle worth three years, $20.5 million with $9 million guaranteed. In the same year, the Hawks drafted Russell Wilson, who supplanted him as starter by week one. Flynn finished his career with 17 total touchdowns and 11 interceptions. Number five, Dallas Braden. Dallas Braden was drafted in the 24th round in 2004 by the Oakland Athletics. He had a perfect game versus the Tampa Bay Rays on Mother's Day. His mom had passed away recently before that. On the year, he went 11-14 in 2010. It would be the last year Dallas Braden would pitch a full season in the major leagues as he was out of the league the very next season. Number 4, Rio Chonan. Boasting a career record of 22-13, and 13, Rio Chonan's claim to fame is his stunning victory over arguably the greatest mixed martial artist of all time, Anderson Silva. This victory was not your run-of-the-mill decision or even a flash knockout. No, Rio, who was down on the judges' scorecards and getting picked apart in the midst of the chaos, 
Chonan decided to throw the MMA version of a Hail Mary. In the third round, Chonan forced Anderson Silva to tap by way of flying scissor heel hook, cementing his place as one of the greatest underdogs of all time. Number three, Timmy Smith. On a record-setting day down in San Diego at Super Bowl 22, Washington Redskins running back Timmy Smith rushed for a Super Bowl record 204 yards and also had two touchdowns on the ground. The reason why this performance doesn't get as much publicity is that Doug Williams had a MVP performance in that game to secure a Super Bowl victory for the Washington Redskins, who won the game by a final score of 42 to 10. Timmy Smith, however, did nothing of note afterwards and got popped on cocaine charges and was out of the league shortly thereafter. Number two, hard hitting Mark Witten. Mark Witten hit four home runs and 12 RBIs in the same game, both tying MLB records. Oh, and by the way, that's on the back end of a doubleheader. Who is this guy with 105 career home runs, 1993 being the most home runs he ever hit in his career with 25? In one game, he hit 16% of his home runs for that entire season. Number one, greatest games by no names, James Buster Douglas. Douglas beat Mike Tyson in Tokyo for the heavyweight belt in a stunning upset fight. Douglas then dropped the title to Evander Holyfield eight months after. Even though with a career record of 38 and 6, Buster Douglas really never reached the great heights he would after that fight. There it is, our top 10 big games from No Names. If we missed any, make sure to mention them in the comments below. If you like what you see, make sure to drop a like on the video and share it with your fellow sports fans. You can follow us on all our social media accounts here. This is Bobby from The Four Sportsmen. Have a great day, y'all.